Hi folks, this is Andy and welcome to my third Blender tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to put a picture on this cube. And I'm going to first turn on screencast keys. Now, you might not always be able to see these because I have the screen set into an auto pan mode uh, because I want you to be able to see a little bit closer. Uh, I found that my old tutorials were a little zoomed out looking, um, but most of the time you'll be able to see this lower left hand corner of the viewport and that's very important because if I roll the mouse wheel to zoom in you'll see that I'm doing that. If I roll it backwards to zoom out you'll see that. If I right click you'll see that. If I left click you'll see that. And that's pretty neat, but the really neat part is if I do something on the numpad, like press 4 to rotate left, as you can see, it tells you what key I'm pressing. So if you have any questions during the tutorial about what keys you need to be pressing in order to use Blender properly, just stop the tutorial and look down here in the lower left-hand corner of the viewport. And if you can't see it, you can feel free to post a question in the comments section. So, let me first change to the camera view. And I want to, my final goal is to have um, this part of the cube have an image sort of wrapped around it, and then this top part of the cube have another copy of the image, but I want to see the whole image just on this one face. So how do I do that? Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to put on a custom texture and a custom material is needed to do that. So I have to go over here to the material tab, click on it, and as you can see there's by default a material named material on there. I'm going to change it to Andy, my name, and as you can see now it says Andy. I don't like the color of the material, I'm going to change it to and as you can see I'm using the diffuse color I'm going to change it to a blue there we go and as you can see it changed in the viewport too so now I've got a material on here named Andy now I'm going to add a texture and as you can see there's also a texture named Tex added by default I'm going to click on that and I'll name that Andy as well and as you can see up here it changed. Now I'm going to change the type of this, te uh, this texture to um, from none to image or movie because I want to put an image on here. Now I go down here on the image drop down and click open. And then you can, if you're following along, just pick whatever image you want. A JPEG will work fine standard JPEG image and as you can see I've got a picture here of me standing by a bunch of video game systems. So how do I get this on here? Well, first of all, I'm going to let me zoom in a little bit. I'm going to press F12 to render. And as you can see the image is actually already on there, but it's got these weird lines on the side and I really don't like that. Plus I really want to have the image wrapped around here as well. I'm fine with the image on the top, but I want it to be wrapped around here as well. So, first of all, it doesn't look like the cube is very well lit to be able to see that. So, let me escape out of here. And I'm going to go to top view. and Zoom out a little bit. And I've only got this one light. So, I'm going to go ahead and right-click, select that light, and Shift-D to duplicate it. And then I'm going to move that duplicate light over here. So so that we've got two sources of lighting. Now let me um, F12 to render again. As you can see this is a little brighter now. Still a little dark for my taste but we can tweak that later. I'm going to escape out of there and I'm going to go ahead and go back into camera. And now I'm going to right click select the object and tab into edit mode. Now this is a neat little trick you don't have to do it this way, but if you press Control tab it'll bring up Mesh Select Mode, and then F will bring up Face. 
and then you can select the faces that you want to use to put your picture on. Uh, there's also down here an icon that you can click, but I find that it actually takes longer to go down here and click the icon than to do the control tab F. And once you get used to it, it's really simple. So I'm going to select this face and this face because I want the image to be wrapped around these two faces. So first of all, I need to create a UV map. I'm going to press U to bring up the UV mapping menu, and then I'm going to press U again to unwrap. Now I have to go back over here to the texture and uh, go down to where it says coordinate under mapping. You can see right now it says generated, and I want to actually change that to UV. Now I'm going to render and see what it looks like. And as you can see, it's sort of there, but I'd like to see my face. And this top one went away. So we have a little bit more editing to do before it's just right. So how do I edit what part of the picture can be seen on these faces? Well, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to right click, click split area because I need two different um, areas to work with here. I need a viewport and I need to click on the lower left hand corner of the second window or area and go to UV image editor. And as you can see, the render result is right there. I don't actually want to see the render result. I want to see the image. So I just go up here and click the image that I loaded. As you can see, it's very zoomed in, but there is my image. And as you can see, the UV map is right here on the image. Now, this confused me at first, so I'm going to show it to you before I go any further. I'm going to tab out of edit mode. And as you can see, the UV map goes away. So if you look at this and you want to freak out and go, I'm in the UV image editor, where's the map? Is If you have mapped it, just tab into edit mode on your object and there's your map right there and there's your map right there so wouldn't it be nice to be able to see this in the viewport kind of annoying that I have to keep rendering it so what you want to do is go to display and if this isn't here this pane just press N it will bring up your properties pane here and go to display scroll down a little bit and you'll see shading is on multi texture you want to change that to GLSL and then you also want to change your viewport mode from solid mode that's that little white circle right now you want to change it to this life preserver that says texture mode and now you can see in your viewport I'm just gonna press N to make this disappear for now and if I tab out, you can see there it is. And that's pretty much like the final render result. A few things are different, but it's a much better preview. And right away, I can tell that this is way too dark for me. So I'm going to go ahead and split into a third area. And I'm going to make that uh, top view up here. And I'm going to play with these lights a little bit until it's bright enough for me and right about there that looks pretty good I'm gonna grab that and as you can see that that brightens it up pretty well that's nice I like that that looks good so now I can actually join these two areas and you just right click join area and then you go in the one you want to join to because if I do this oops I've joined that area but that does that really doesn't matter I can just zero will bring me right back to the numpad zero will bring me right back to the camera viewport so if you're not comfortable with that um, I can I can do a quick tutorial on that I have covered some of the basics of blender and I would be happy to go over them again just uh, any questions just put them in the comments section but let's uh, let's finish this what we're working on now so let me tab back into edit mode because I don't want my shirt to be there, I want my face to be there. So let me go to UV Image Editor, and all you have to do is select everything, G to grab, and I think you can go on the Y axis is straight up and down, so it doesn't go left and right. 
and I can just pan up until there's my face. And there I am wrapped around there. Now, the only thing that I really have to work on now is there's nothing up here. I want this image to be on the top. How do I do that? Well, I tab back into edit mode and control tab mesh select mode F for face. Right click on the face that I want to put the image on. U, UV mapping. U, unwrap. And there it is, right there on the top. And I can make this show up in the UV image editor too by just clicking on this little picture looking thing and then click on the image I loaded. And then I'll have a little reference in there in the UV image editor. And if I want to select one of these points, grab it and sort of change it and make it look all freaky, I can do that. But I actually want the entire image in there. Now if you want to scale this down and zoom in on it, you can just A in the UV image editor to select all. And just like in the 3D viewport, S will scale it. G will grab it. And R will indeed rotate it. So you can sort of dictate what part of your image you want to be on what part. But I was actually fine with it the way it was before. So, And then when I render this out, I should see one image on the top and another image wrapped around the side. And you can do this with all the sides of the cube if you want. I'm not going to because that might take a while. And I'd really like you guys to try to do your own try to do your own image because that's how you really learn Blender. Uh, that's going to be it for today. I hope you learned a lot from this tutorial. And I'll be back soon with a tutorial on animation. Okay. Have a great day.